what you should happening here guys girls welcome to a brand new roblox video now in today's video we're jumping in i'm going to be teaching you guys the awesome glitch that is currently existing in the game that will help you get diamonds now first things first i went and selected to get lords of flamingos just because they look cool and uh, they're pretty easy to get a hold of they must be in the low end eggs from the starter area the shop but it could be anything, uh, you know, as long as it's not too low end. Um, and you want to take them all over to the enchantment machine. This is going to help you guys get infinite amounts of diamonds. It's super cool. So make sure you jump on it as soon as possible. Now, as you can see, here are all the ones that we've got on hand. Um, I can hold max pets. So we're going to go through. Uh, well, we're maxed out right now, sorry. And uh, we're going to go through. We need to get ourselves diamonds. Um, so we're going to keep putting them on until eventually we get diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, whichever. Because I've got so many pets, it's going to be pretty kind of productive if I wait until I get diamonds five. It would take way too long. But if you want to do that, that is probably uh, the smartest idea. As long as you get any sort of enchantment on here that is diamond related, that is what we are looking for. So aim for that one first. Uh, again, we keep on getting things like agility, etc. It will burn through your diamonds. So be prepared to already have a few diamonds in place. Or if you can, use the lowest end pets you can that already have diamonds on them. That is what we are looking for. All right, so we've managed to do pretty much every single one. We've got loads of diamonds. We've got diamonds three. We've got diamonds two. Uh, we've also got managed to get uh, all the other extras. So there we go. We've now got a squad that is filled with diamonds from one, two, three, some with five, some with three, etc., etc. This is what you are looking for, and this is going to be the best way of doing it so it is a little bit time consuming but once you've got this we are ready to move on to the next part of it so first things first you are going to go to the highest area that you currently have unlocked in the game that will have floor loot okay so my area that i've unlocked right now is the alien chest area and i've already got 745,000 diamonds we are going to be getting a lot more very very quickly i'll show you what i get over night as well by leaving it afk in. um so if we just put on some of our best pets you want to change your pets to uh, all sending um just to give it a test to make sure all the pets are functioning as you can see here uh we're going to go all the way around you want to delete everything on the floor apart from the gems leave any gem piles lying around so I'll just clean the area up as much as possible. it take a little while, just keep on doing this. Just make sure you just keep clicking on them and send them all the way around. Eventually, you're going to end up finding each of these areas is going to basically fill up with diamonds. Uh, well, the wonderful gems. Look at that. More and more are dropping, and it looks fantastic. Once this has happened, and it has filled all of these areas, and no more of the tech coins or anything like that are spawning, or whichever coin, like I say, that you've already got, make sure that you then change out your best pets and put on the weakest pets that you managed to fill uh, with the enchantment. And then what you want to do is send all of these pets to one pile of gems in this area. And then what you want to do, once they're on those gems, you want to deselect all of your pets. All right. It's going to sound super weird, but trust me. And then you want to reselect each individual pet again so that they'll be back on your hand. All right. Now you want to repeat this process and then you just want to keep going around once your pets are there and select a different set of gems. Then repeat the exact same process and you want to do this for all of the gems that are in your area. Once you've done this enough times, you would have then selected every single pile of gems that is in your given area. Now, granted, you can do this with your friends, but it's probably better to do it alone so that you get the most out of it. Um, and you, you want to ideally find as many gem piles as there are the amount of pets that you can hold on hand. So if you can only hold a few, that's understandable. That's totally fine uh, because later on, you're going to end up having to go through and send off in individual pets to individual piles. So repeat this process, as you can see here, send all of the pets to one pile, then deselect them and then repeat once you've unselected all your pets that'll be a part of the glitch and it really really does help it's a lot easier as well if you pick a pet if you've got a lot of in your inventory um, that is you know of a color that makes sense to you that you could spot so we've already now done this with quite a few piles and as you can see we're pulling in quite a lot of gems and these gems will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger but wait until you see what we end up showing you next change them to pet sending single so reselect all the pets and then you want to go around clicking on all the piles that you have been clicking on prior with the group sending sent over. So select it all, dump send one to each, and you'll just start seeing the, the, the diamonds raking in, okay? You're going to see a lot of diamonds. There you go, look, the diamonds are starting to go up. Thousands and thousands of them, thousands and thousands. Of course, it's going to be a little bit easier if these had, like, magnet on them, but you won't end up getting that, I doubt it. Very, very, very much so doubt it. But look how many diamonds I've got just standing here in the middle. That is absolutely crazy. 
Now, I wish I could obviously use Magnet on them, that'd be brilliant, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. You can go around and hoover up everything afterwards. They don't despawn or anything like that, and look, I am flying up. It's the most amount of diamonds I could possibly ever have. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Just let leave it for a bit of time. You can leave these grinding. and there's no possible way that these singular pets are ever going to destroy these piles of diamonds. It's just not possible. Um, but you know, in this on here, I've only got 14, but you can go all the way up to the maximum of, of 20. That would obviously help quite tremendously um, if I kept on repeating it. And again, you could put them on like chests and things like that. But if you don't end up filling up your inventory with pets with all the diamonds on, just all you need to do is send your other pets off to a chest or, or whatever it may be. The next day. Now, the next day later, we ended up making 33 million diamonds. Overnight, I left it doing it, 33 million diamonds. These guys will just keep on doing it for you infinitely. And it's just the greatest thing. <laughs> It'll save you a lot of pennies. And, and obviously, 33 million would probably get you like between two and three really good pets at the very least depending on which pets you go for from the mystery trader at the current existing time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. And of course, uh, make the most of this while it's in the game. Otherwise, it's just back to chest grinding, getting those gems the old school way. Uh, it'll save you a few pennies as well. So make sure to drop a subscribe, a like, and a good comment below. I'll catch you guys soon. Much love. Take care. Peace out.